Masters from the East. As is well known, many of the staples of Western culture actually originated in the East. These include papyrus, the compass, gunpowder, tectonic dance, and mobile phone technology. In a quiet workshop in Far East Asia, a master and his apprentice are making a full touch screen mobile phone using traditional methods. The apprentice refines a very special type of wood to ensure the quality of the frame of the mobile phone. This method goes back five generations of the master's family line and has been passed down in secrecy for 200 years. Did you know that Buddha's various hand gestures inspired the different styles of mobile phones you see today? Clamshell, slider, full touch, love, West Side. When the apprentice finishes the wood frame, the master goes to the mountains for training and meditation. While the master is gone, his apprentice develops black ink with an aged ink stick. The master begins his training through day and night, in rain or snow. Repeatedly, he practices various training methods for one month. During this time, the wind and rain polish and refine the wood into the form of a mobile phone. The black ink carefully developed by the apprentice is used to stain the body of the wooden frame. The wooden frame is soaked in pomegranate juice for three days, resulting in the red stained bottom and top. Finally, it's time to make the touch screen. To achieve a purely complete bacteria-free state, the master goes into a room naked. Using special liquid made with ginseng, juju, sesame oil, and salt, he pours the mixture into the mold. On the surface, he places flower petals, which will later transform into beautiful icons. The finished phone is then fired in a kiln. During this time, the master pays devout respect to his ancestors. After three days firing at 1,000 degrees Celsius, a perfect phone emerges from the ashes. At last, the body now has a glossy black and slick appearance. The master breathes life into the phone. He applies acupuncture needles to the appropriate pressure points of the phone to release the trapped energy. The phone has been given life. The next day, the master greets a guest visiting from the city. While observing strict courtesy, the finished mobile phone is handed over. The phone makes its way to the city. It will be mass produced there for the people. But we shall never forget the effort and craftsmanship that have gone into the birth of such a masterpiece quality mobile phone.